greetings you. Yes, you. There, in the middle of your yoga pose. It's Starla January again, with strangers in the night, with Starla January. Let's not be strangers. Cool your chakras and take a ride with me. I'll be taking calls, answering your questions about life, loving, and feeling alive. It may be 3 a.m. now, but it's 10.30 somewhere. So call in, strangers, and let's get intimate together. As always, we start my show, Strangers in the Night, with a brief meditation on my day and really get focused on life and loving before we start. And, huh, I can't even... I can't even go through with this one without showing how upset I am. I know, I know, listeners, that I always tell you to be centered, but how the hell can you be centered with all these wild birds in the air? I was taking, I was taking my afternoon constitutional where I think about connecting with my inner sensuality and all of your inner sensuality and, and then I was horrified to see that someone had let out uh, one of those beaked birds, one of those knife-wielding peck wings and then I saw it look me straight in the soul and defecate and then a, a giant group of them flew away almost taunting me saying catch me catch me Starla oh you can't you don't have wings uh can you time travel birds no you can't because in the future you're all dead learn from that tonight next time you see a bird take a small thread and squeeze it around its neck until you can see its wings gives just the last fights of life. And you know that that is exactly what that bird would have done to you if it had the chance. Now let's all calm down and take some calls. Hi, um, what is love? And how do I know if I love someone? Ah, a question for all the dreamers in this world. Really, caller, what you're asking is, what isn't love? Um, hamburgers are love. Tiny choo-choo trains are love. Vestibules are love. A mother's kiss is love. A mother's rejection is love. A bird getting quietly murdered by a small plastic bag is love. Go out there and embrace that. Let's go on to caller number next. My boyfriend just broke up with me. How can I get him back? This has been one that many females have been plagued with. I'll give you my advice right away. I don't bother myself with boyfriends. I have man friends. And I have lovers. And so you don't need your boyfriend back. If he's willing to step up and be a man, or let you take as many lovers as you need to mourn his loss and then jump in there later, take him back. If not, go out there. Be beautiful. Say yes to life. And then he'll see that you look hot in some photo and he'll come crawling back. Let's have another dreamer call in. My boyfriend says he loves me, but he'll break up with me if I don't have sex with him. Does he love me? Hmm. Whilst murdering a bird earlier today, I was thinking about the same query. And basically, as the little talons just kicked at my inner palms in the last grasp of life, um, I thought, why isn't life short? As I was adding a, a few more inches to my mass bird grave for these sky enemies, I thought back to a boyfriend that I had, and, and he broke up with me because I would not intimately intercourse with him, and, and you know what? I regretted it. He seemed what uh, you or things would call a good lay. So you should probably have sex with your boyfriend. He loves you very much. Well, dreamers, this has been a fabulous episode with some really brilliant advice by me. But I realized just now that I must go. My car is in the shop. So please uh, wait by your radio until I'm back again for the next episode of Strangers in the Night with Starla January.